What works? Workplace literacy and numeracy are, are different things, I think, to different businesses. One of the things for Unity Water is the ability for a staff member to understand their role, to know exactly what their tasks are, to understand how they have to do that um, and the best way in which they can do it. It doesn't mean they can't read and write. It just means they're not at the level of understanding they need to be to complete their job function correctly. You need people to understand, you know, not only to get the job out correctly, but to work safely also. On so many levels, it's, it's really important. If you don't have the literacy or numeracy in the workplace, there are so many things that you can't achieve and you're putting yourself in danger as well. I think it's something that you certainly need, need to look at because no matter the workplace, no matter what you're doing, nothing stays the same and you do need to reskill and retool. So it's not only to develop your business, but certainly invest in your staff and invest in their training to bring them in line with new process, new procedures. I think it, it affects all businesses if it's present. If, if you've got language literacy and numeracy issues in your, in your business, then you need to take action. And it doesn't matter what level you're at, it's the level that you need to perform at. So even though you might have a high language literacy and numeracy skill, but because you're functioning in a very high level or position, you still may have issues with advanced report writing and, and those style of things. Definitely, if you want to succeed and you want to move in your career and you don't have the skills to read the reports, um, to number crunch the numbers when you've been given a budget, um, you're not going to be successful. It doesn't mean that you're not intelligent. It doesn't mean that you're not one of the most switched on people in that joint, but it just means you haven't quite got the literacy or the numeracy to be able to take that next step from, you know, it might be supervisor to floor manager or it might be floor manager to executive. Those steps are so important, and it's not that you can't read or write. It's, it's certainly not. I mean, to succeed in life, you know, not just the workplace, you, you need these skills. So it all does come back to the workplace. Someone who can effectively read, they're not going to produce a job that is incorrect because they've misread documentation. But you know, reading a simple policy or a procedure and not being able to quite get what it means means that you're going to do something wrong and you might put someone else in danger as well as yourself. There are so many forms and documents and written forms that we have to fill out as people these days. If you're employing people and they don't have that level of, of literacy that they require to be able to interact with clients at the business level that you need them to do, you don't have those clients for very long. Yeah, numeracy is an interesting one, especially in IT. Even at those low levels, when people are looking at doing bits and pieces, you're quoting stuff to them. So you're saying, hey, yeah, we can get you this Wizbang printer, and it's this much. But whether you've transcribed those numbers correctly, uh, whether or not you added up the three things, and it could just be three things that you're providing, maybe a computer, a router, and a screen, and that's enough to be $1,000 out in your calculations. And that goes straight off the bottom line, because once you've quoted it, Unless you've got some whiz-bang errata type of error message in there, that's what you quoted. There's computer literacy that we need these days in order just to function, online banking, all those sorts of things. So it all does come back to the workplace. If you have got literacy issues or numeracy issues, your productivity can be reduced. There can be issues in data integrity, in, especially in, in computer in, in computer systems, um, lack of understanding of of the of processes, even of policy. So I think there there are a lot of different areas that um, that that does affect. We need to make sure that when we make decisions, we're making decisions based on data. When you have the right data in a, in a in a system, you can actually get reports at the other end that help you make those decisions. So. In order, in order for us to, to get some productivity gains um, and some, get some efficiencies in our business, then we need to make sure that that's right. Profit and loss is going to be better. Uh, injury downtime is going to be a lot better. And people that can understand and do what they need to do in the workplace is going to make things better for everybody.